now the latest on July 12th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Tropical storm Barry has formed in the last day in the Gulf of Mexico and is likely to affect the coast of the United States, particularly Louisiana. It's the main story and the only named storm that's currently active out there. It's number 33 for 2019. It's day 42 of Atlantic hurricane season. We also have Invest 93L, which is located in the deep region of the tropical Atlantic. And on day 59 of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season, we have 96E, which has a low chance of development, 10%. 98W is located in the Western Pacific at this time and uh, there could be possibly some development later down the line whether it comes from that system or not remains to be seen. No system is active in the Southern Hemisphere at the moment. Obviously the top story is Tropical Storm Barry which we're putting at 45 miles per hour and a pressure of 1000 millibars. Um, most of the structure for the storm is displaced to the south, but it is starting to wrap around towards the west, 165 miles from New Orleans, and is a major rain threat more than anything else over the next few days as it moves up towards the northwest. Could make landfall as a hurricane in Louisiana. Uh, we're still putting it down as a high-end tropical storm, and then it will move inland and start to weaken and uh, eventually dissipate somewhere inland. Uh, during the next week. It could deliver 25 inches of rain to isolated parts of Louisiana. Wind shear near the center of the system right now, we're looking at it here, is pretty low, 10 to 15 knots generally, uh, with high amounts to the east and west. Um, dry air is intruding from the north, which is interfering with its development as it stands at the moment, and that's why uh, expectations have been tempered a little bit with that high uh, with the uh, peak intensity. So there it is on the left hand side of the screen quite a bit of a mess really in the Gulf of Mexico. 93L on the right hand side there a typical um, tropical uh, disturbance appearance that would occur in the uh, low part of the Atlantic. Uh, surrounded by dry air by the way from the Sahara uh, and on the Gulf of Mexico imagery here you got a closer look there of Barry. The Eastern Pacific has 96E, way off to the eastern side there, not far off the Mexican coast. Models have not really been keen on this one really, um, but there is a small chance of development as it proceeds towards the northwest. Elsewhere, the Eastern Pacific is pretty barren with barely anything going on at all. The Western Pacific has 98W, somewhere down there. Um, <laughs> can't really see it to be honest looking at that imagery there is some disturbed weather occurring into the Philippine Sea um, and that is going to push on towards the westerly direction still not much organization occurring out of any of that at the minute but could deliver some rainfall to the Philippines this week uh, this weekend Australia and the South Pacific region looks like this a few flare-ups occurring over Vanuatu and over the Solomon Islands um, but elsewhere it's looking very quiet and in the North Indian Ocean there's a few fl uh, flare-ups there in the northern part of India monsoonal in nature I presume uh, elsewhere it is very quiet and really nothing going on at all Sea surface temperatures are very warm where Tropical Storm Barry is, around 30 degrees, maybe even 31 as it nears the shore. The Eastern Pacific also very warm where 96E is, at least for another day or two. Time's running out for that. Where 93L is in the Atlantic, around 26 or 27 degrees Celsius, which is just enough for uh, tropical cyclone development, but it's going to be that Saharan air that's really going to stop it in its tracks. The Indian Ocean, pretty warm, although slightly cooler than it was recently. Uh, and in the Western Pacific, the Philippine Sea in particular is a hot spot, 30 degrees plus over a wide swathe of the ocean. Here's some imagery of Tropical Storm Barry in the last few hours. Uh, this is GO16 hybrid visible and water vapor imagery. You can see the dry air intrusion, the yellow areas there, particularly on the northern side of the storm, but in more recent frames, not visible to us here, uh, the western side is blowing up even more and starting to wrap around over Louisiana towards the north, so that's interesting. Uh, the next name in the Atlantic will be Chantal. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Delilah, and in the Central Pacific, the next name on the list is Akoni. In the Western Pacific, we're waiting for Danas, 
and in the North Indian Ocean, Hika is next on their list. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find uh, our uh, YouTube page, search Force 13 All in Text, subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 there too, and you can comment on any of those and send us messages. That's all for now, we'll have another update on the Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow with updates in between on Barry. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.